The Solomon Maslango Freedom College is launching a YouTube competition as part of the eighth educational tour to Tanzania. Four young people stand a chance to win a seven-day all-expenses-paid tour that will be happening in October. So here to tell us more about this exciting opportunity, we're joined by the head of... Uh, okay, I'm going to have to ask you to, to do this for me. Is it the... Samafko Trust. Samafko Trust. Okay, so not yeah. too bad. You know when you're going to get those, you're going to get these little uh, things right. Uh, mm. uh, Tlolo Mohaute and, of course, the former Tanzanian EduTour participant, Angelica Fondo. Good to have both of you. Thank, Thank you, you for having, having us. us. Good, Good It's an absolute pleasure. All right, talk to us a little bit more about this tour. What, what does it entail? What's it all about? So this is going to be the eighth educational tour, and we... we take young people to Tanzania, specifically to the Solomon Matlango Freedom College, um, to um, showcase the, the South African history that, that is there. Um, so we start in Dar es Salaam, uh, go to Morogoro, um, where the Solomon Matlango Freedom College is. And we have a number of activities that take place while we are there. Beautiful. Now, obviously, Angelica, we can get the first-hand experience from you because you've been on it. You know what it's all about. How was it for you? Um, it was an absolutely breathtaking time. I think it was good to see a first-hand retelling of our story as South Africa and the move to liberation. And what I absolutely love about how the tour is actually handled is it's quite contemporary in the way that speaks to young South Africans in the 21st century. We interact with the youth of Tanzania. We get to meet people on the ground and interact and actually create opportunity for dialogue between the two countries and the youth of the two countries. Yeah. So the opportunity is quite an immense um, learning curve also. And I remember going on tour and telling everyone that, listen, you will definitely cry sometime along this tour. Beautiful. And all the heritage and all the history that you learn about the struggle and the move into Tanzania and how hospitable the people of Tanzania were is quite eye-opening. Very special. And I, 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 I can only but imagine. Now, you focusing a lot on leadership this year. What, why have you taken this direction? I think, well, it's the year of Oliver Tambo, so we're celebrating one of the uh, foremost leaders of, of uh, South Africa, the ANC. Um, um, we, we also think that it's a time for young people to take up the cudgels of, of leadership and, 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 and express themselves and share uh, ideas about new frameworks of leadership that uh, we clearly require in South Africa. Mm. Um, so that's one of the key things. But central to uh, the tour to Tanzania is the vision that Oliver Tambo carried forward. And we think that's very important now. What do we do in the, in the next decade or so to, to put South Africa in, on the correct, correct path as young people. Mm. As you know, um, the, 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 the next year is 100 years of, of Nelson Mandela. If you look at the cohort of young people or, or th that, that uh, range of individuals, they always emerge during their youth. Yeah. So we think it's very important for us to broaden um, uh, the, 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 the range of young people who are in leadership uh, in different spheres of society. Yeah, I mean, you, you obviously interacting with the youth in Tanzania, the youth in South Africa. Are the, the issues common? I mean, do you, do you find that you, you have a lot in common or is it very unique and different to your circumstances and the countries you live in? I think um, from the angle that we handled it, we dealt a lot with the entrepreneurs in Tanzania and they are miles ahead of what we're doing in South mm. Africa. So okay. also coming from an entrepreneurship background and seeing um, the initiatives that we're still running here, it's a, lo a lot about educating people how to get into entrepreneurship. They pull up their sleeves and are actually doing it. So we came back, luckily, with all of that expertise and skill and this vuma to actually do entrepreneurship and not just speak about it. And, and that's sad because when you look at something uh, as a reputation of a country, the powerhouse, the economic powerhouse mm. of Africa, and yet you look at what Tanzania is doing to empower the youth <coughs> and most importantly entrepreneurs because we're dropping the ball when it comes to that here in South Africa. And I mean, you, just from what you're saying is again another proof of that. I, I think also through the initiatives that Somafco Trust runs, we try and close that gap. There's no way we can come back from Tanzania and remain unchanged yeah. in our approach to entrepreneurship and running seminars where the content is the same continuously. Um, so we've really taken up the challenge to actually Fantastic. bring tra transformation into how we do entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship and not just I like speaking that. about <laughs> Entrepreneurship. That's a, yeah, that's a good one. It's a very good one. <laughs>
Let's get the message out there for, for this next, uh, the next tour that's going to be taking place. Obviously, as we mentioned, focuses on leadership this year. How do, how do the youth go about it? Are Hendry still open? Yeah, so um, there are currently two contestants on, on our, for the YouTube competition. Okay. And we're looking for four winners there. And then we do have essay, essay writing, um, essay topics that they can enter into. They can find us online as Somafco Trust and find all these competitions. But uh, the, the, the YouTube competition closes on, on the 16th and the essays we've The 16th of... of like, 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 soon. Like, <laughs> like, like in three days' time. Yeah. Um, so what are you looking for in this YouTube? What do you want them to well, put there? We're, we're posing the question on leadership courage. I think the, the big thing right now is... Where is the same courage as Steve Biko, as Solomon Matlangu, yeah. as uh, Mandela, Tambo? Where is it amongst young people? It needs to re-emerge because clearly our society is looking for something fresh. Absolutely. Um, and I think, I think that that's the question we're posing, that you know, wh what has happened with leadership courage and how do we reignite it um, uh, amongst the young people in particular? So that's the YouTube competition. You have to answer that within two minutes. And then we've got a range of other questions uh, five essays, uh, five topics, you can select one um, where you're responding to different types of questions affecting youth, particularly around uh, youth leadership. Excellent. So the website is um, www.somafcotrust.org.za. Www Somafcotrust.org.za. Yeah. Good luck to everybody. I hope you go out there, take up this exciting opportunity, enter it. As you heard, the competition closes on the 16th of September. And this sounds like a life-changing experience, as we've heard here from uh, somebody who did it, is Angelica uh, van Do. Thank you for talking to us here on the program. And you keep on doing, <laughs> keep doing. And, of course, uh, Tlolo Mohlate, who is uh, the head of the Samafka Trust. Thanks for talking Thank to us. Thank you for having us. All right, that's where we wrap it for this morning.